previously on the last video. Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. Now let's continue. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to some more GTA 5. Uh, this is going to be kind of a test recording session, mainly to uh, test out my new mic, my settings and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be moving soon, so my setup's going to change, and I'm going to get a proper mic stand. But uh, just for now, until I do actually move, and I know I move a lot, if you are been with me on my channel for quite a while, you probably know that uh, I moved not that long ago. Uh, but yes, I am fucking moving again. I don't even really want to talk about it all that much, but I will be moving and I will be getting a new setup and stuff like that, and I will get a proper mic stand, And uh, but this is probably going to be a shorter recording session of GTA 5, uh, just to kind of test out the mic, so I'm probably going to record for about half an hour, and I may make it one video, maybe, uh, I'm not sure. But we are Trevor, and we currently cannot switch to Michael or uh, Franklin. And uh, I'm actually going to turn... You might have heard my TV for a second, but... I had my TV on mute, and I went ahead and just turned the volume all the way down so I wouldn't have to see the mute symbol, so... Uh, we got a Strangers and Freaks, and we got a C for that Chinese fellow, I think. So we're gonna... Let's call a cab. A cab, Toronto. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Much obliged. <clears throat> so pretty much, uh, I got a new mic mainly to uh, so I could be more free. Uh, a headset does have its advantages, I would say. Um, especially, I'm still using the headphone part of my headset. I just have the mic unconnected. Oh, that was quick, Mr. Taxi Man. But I just have my mic disconnected and I'm using the headset you part. Uh, I mainly wanted to... Uh, actually, I don't think I need to... Just need... Oh, there it is. Right there. Sandy Shores. Uh, I mainly away, wanted sir. to get a standalone mic, which is the new one I'm using now. It's an Audio-Technica mic. Uh, I mainly wanted to get one of these because... Um, they're more free. I can move around more without having to worry about hitting my headset. Um, like if I cough or something like that, it won't be as big of a deal. All right, brother, here we are. I see you. And uh, who sees me? Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting. Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. No. Why not? All right, then. Up here with you. Well, Cletus. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay. You see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Alright. Satellite dish number one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. Oh. I like better ideas. Better ideas are good. Why'd you get in the passenger side? So, what now? 
We're gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Hey, see your beauty. Whoa. Drives like a dream. What are you doing to my vehicle? I'm driving it, dude. You've got way too much time on your hands. Be careful, I ain't got insurance. Do you need insurance for this thing? Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. Probably not so this well. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Anybody can paint the body work? Just give me a second, Cletus, alright? I don't think I got that one. I think I missed. I'm a shitty sniper anyway. But I got one. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. That one wasn't really a hard target, though. I don't feel accomplished. Sometimes I come up here with my girl. I ain't the prettiest, but oh, she can handle a firearm like a marine. Mm, got lucky with you, all right. Man, not too bad, got it. Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. I didn't do too bad Just on that. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. I imagine Trevor being the perfect neighbor. Oh, yeah. We'll get a better shot from up here. What's that? What does that can say? Zero with an X? I don't know. Can you spare any money, friend? Money? Who asked right, for money? I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. I heard a guy ask for money, but I don't know where he is. Alright. One See coyote. Now, song dog, and another. Two coyote. Like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Where's three coyote? Oh. Three coyote. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. All right. Well, Cletus, nice to meet you. Oh, I read about something online about this game. I don't know how you... Uh, how did you do it? You, uh... Ugh! That was how you do it. You could, like, trip. Ugh! You could do, like, front flips on buildings. Oh, you... Oh, I could have landed on my feet. See, that was fun, Trevor.
Alright, let's call another taxi. So we can do another I guess main mission. Believe it or not, I need a cab. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. God damn it. Yeah, you better back up. It's all right. I'm coming, taxi. Hey. Oh shit! A dog. Yeah, kick the dog. Kick the dog. Yeah, fuck you, dog. Okay, before anyone says anything, he attacked me first. You all saw it. Where are you headed, homie? You guys saw it. He attacked me first. Alright, brother, here we are. Thank you, taxi man. Wow. Surprised he managed to get me here in one piece. Can't even get out of the freaking parking lot. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang me. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Chang's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Cause those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys and fuck them! <laughs> ah! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Is that too much to ask? A little success, a little happiness! Trevor does not take rejection well. Like, who the hell grows up wanting to be an international drug dealer and weapons trader? Trevor is one weird individual. Eh, fuck you, stop sign. Shitty car. We're gonna hit this guy. Oh, you see ya. Only have yourself to blame. Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the bar. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family meth business you got 
When I'm done! They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats! Oh, inbred hillbilly twats. Trevor's definitely got a colorful vocabulary. I like it. Like I would say, I love it. Vantage point. Alright. Up the hill. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, right, so. how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Alright, so I'm guessing they kind of want me to snipe here. Which I can attempt to do. Let's reload real quick. Oh, twofer! to go. Shit. They're outside. Oh, Ow. Fuck me, it's Phillips. Keep it. Out of here. Let's see. Cut down to size. Fucking get him. One guy. Oh, my god damn it. Was he blind firing? I think he was. I think I only had half health. Oh, oh right. how many brothers you got, you inbred? Okay, that went smoother. I think they're looking for me quite yet. Are there any more outside? I don't think so. Alright, let's uh switch here. Actually, I have the same amount of ammo for both. So we'll just stick with ye olden AK. So I guess I'm going in the house. Oh, there's a health pack on the back porch. Surprise. Come on! Get that motherfucker out the house! Tear Evans here to kill ya! You gonna die in this cookhouse! Oh, oh, one guy's running over here. He's running. Keep him out of the lab! Fuck! 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 Kinda wanna wait for him to come to me. You shit! Ya fucking weirdo! Get yeah, I'm we the weirdo. <clears throat> Granted, Trevor is a colorful character. Hey, fuck you! Go home. Yeah! 
Fuck Trevor Phillips, man! Oh, you had a shotgun. Larry's been hit! You gonna be buried in this base. You're fucking dead! Dead, dead! Take over time! Ain't dead, you're dead. You get out this property! How about a murder? Oh shit. That all? He can't come down. Oh, I picked up a health pack. Stop him! Oh shit! He's down here! Don't come any closer, alright? You win! You can have the contract! I don't know how many of my brothers you sm I smoked all your brothers, you douche. Give me that. Yes, in a meth lab. Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. You asked for this, oh. assholes. You guys make shitty meth anyway. Only Trevor Phillips can make the good meth. That's healthy for you. Everything you've built, see how it feels. No, they don't, Trevor, because they're all dead. You did quite the job of killing them. Very nice. Here we go. Alright. Right about there should be good. Get a pistol. And there we go. Burn you disrespectful pricks. Awesome. Time to go. What a good day. Blowing up houses. Oh. oh Alright. So You're not sorry. Bitch. That don't honk at me. I was just in a terrible, terrible accident. And, and there we go. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and call a cab. Don't wanna waste too much time. Can I get a cab ASAP? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Wonderful. I know you guys want to see the story. Alright, come on, cab. Where are you? Oh, there he is. So, where do you want to go? There we go. Home sweet trailer. Get back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, alright? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. 
I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? I could go for some ice cream. You guys want some ice cream? Want to go get some ice cream? I think we should go get some ice cream. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So... So, uh... What's the stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Because, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. I like it when it rains in video games. Another chapter to... I interrupted that dialogue. Still dark before I drop in again. Oh, we got some oh lightning and thunder. The assholes here. They slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. You're lost. You are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. Oh, did you see that lighting? I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Wait here. Alright, stick it. Holy shit. That lightning is awesome. That lightning is sweet. One. Oh, hey, I actually got that one. I didn't get that one. Oh, well, we'll, we'll go around and get it. Lightning. Awesome. I don't think it's this. Yeah, it's this trailer over here. Oh shit, they see me. I'm not the dude. Uh oh. I'm not the dude, I swear. Come on! I'm not the dude! Leave me alone! I didn't do anything but kill a whole bunch of your friends. Oh. Oh. Should have tried to be more stealthy. I got you them bombs and 
that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took Those are my gifts for these pricks. Alright. So let's try that again. Just with more stealth. I kind of want to try and get this one without having to go over there. You know what? Fuck it. I'll run across the street. I'm throwing a whole bunch of unnecessary... Where are they that way? They're going that way. guy is not a very nice guy talking to a lady like that I don't like him standing there what were they doing to that guy what are they doing? You know, I'm not going to interfere. They can do whatever they want. Oh, sorry, lady. I killed him. My bad. If you asked me, I did you a favor. Shit. I think that guy almost saw me. Let's get back to the truck before I blow these things. Hey man, fuck, fuck! You're Trevor Phillips! Crap, I don't know where I parked. I don't remember. Fuck off! Go! Fuck off! I think that's where I parked right there. It will blow the bomb down. Uh, you're what? Ooh, 
Damn it! I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey! How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr... Tr... Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Can't even get a word in it twice. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, get off the road. Yeah. Shit. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousins. We are going to your cousins, Wade. Just calm down, alright? Just calm down. We'll get there. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story? About that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes... He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in love. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than... Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but... Oh! Oh! We're near Floyd Caps. I've seen it on i find maps. I'll give you directions. I already have directions, Wade. I don't need your directions. It's a rag up here. Let's meet Wade's cousin. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter! You can't smoke here! 
Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She, she's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. Man, not even a minute, and Floyd is Trevor's bitch. Man, Trevor is one convincing guy. This isn't a bad little apartment here. Michael Franklin and Trevor are now all available to switch between. Alright. Well, it's been over the 30 minutes I was planning on recording, but this is a good place to stop. Uh, hopefully the mic quality did alright, or the mic turned out alright. Hopefully nothing messed up, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Grand Theft Auto 5. Just this little bit of it, just to kind of test out my new mic, but uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I am out.